A picture is worth a thousand words, especially for Betty Lou Trufant. It just sounds so different, so different, so good. It's like, wow. 30 years ago, Betty Lou lost her voice, and it never came back. It was about 1982 when I developed a bad cold, had a very bad case of laryngitis. She recovered from her illness, but her voice didn't. One of her vocal cords was paralyzed. Probably 25 to 35 percent of the people we see who have a paralyzed vocal fold have it due to a virus. Dr. Michael Benninger operated on Betty Lou at Cleveland Clinic. He put an implant in her throat designed to push the paralyzed vocal cord back into place and allow the vocal cords to touch again and create sound. Before the surgery, Betty Lou sounded breathy and raspy, like this. I'm going to be sounding a lot better. And a few days <laughs> later, like this. And he is thrilled over how I'm sounding already. He's just like, wow. I think the patients find it amazing as they go from this so they go from this right on the operating room table and it's it's like an eye opener for everybody in the room every time we do it one two three four a few months after the surgery oh, betty lou is now thing. making up for 30 years of lost time i just talk and talk i can't stop sometimes <laughs> i am just thrilled to death i will be forever thankful at cleveland clinic i'm erica foreman